seed packages. So get ready for this. You guys, we're gonna plant these today and then in three weeks, I'm gonna give you an update and just see what the hell I've got growing on here. So they've given me very scant descriptions and I'm gonna give you a how-to step-by-step to plant seeds as well. So kind of a two-in-one deal. And then we're gonna catch back up on the subject in three weeks and just see what the heck's going on. Let's start cutting these guys open. They have a little section. Are they loose in there? Sounds like they're loose. Okay, this one, the first description is bonsai. Okay, I have bonsai in one of my other videos. I will link that below. Inside, no, it's in a little baggie. Okay, fun. Look at how they're all kind of sticking in there. Okay, these are fun. What can I say about these seeds? I'll give you a close up. I'm gonna do a little spinny do. <laughs> they almost look like cacti seed, but a lot of seed can look like this of a lot of different plants. So, okay, number one, the bonsai revealed. So we'll put that over here. We don't wanna get them mixed up. Second one is bead. Okay, I don't know what bead could be. This might not even be a plant. Okay, I'm just gonna cut it. <laughs> Watch it be something really stupid or crazy. What is this? Oh. Ooh. Okay, they're definitely not beads. They are seeds. <laughs> so this is the second mystery package. Put your guesses below in the comments. I'm going to put a guess, I think, and just see what I think it is. I've seen seeds that kind of look like this. I'm into seeds. And okay, why be into seeds, right? Like, why am I growing these seeds that I don't know what they are? First of all, that's really fun, okay? But second of all, seeds, growing from seed starts is really, really affordable compared to going out and buying plants or shipping rare plants. Hell, shipping a tropical plant can be costly, especially in Canada. This is the second pack of seeds. If I didn't give you a close-up. So number two package of bead. Okay, it was all wrapped in bubble wrap. How cute. Okay, whoops, I'm mixing them up already here. Number three. Ever notice I'm always counting in my videos? I must like to count in my videos. Okay, this one says flowers, okay? Who knows what that could be? Let's cut it open. Okay. This is really weird. You guys tell me if you've gotten a package like this. It's breathable. I have no idea what this could be. In this little cloth pouch, almost like gauze, but stiffer. You can't really see very well. Yeah, I don't know. So you might be able to see from the frame. If not, I have this really dirty planting tray that I like to use. So if you're going to be using dirt at home, if you've never done seed starting or planting with dirt, it gets quite messy, so it's a good idea to have something like this. So let's get started. So I have my three containers, just recycled berry containers. Uh, they have little holes at the bottom so they can suck up water. So these are perfect for my seeds. I'm gonna just show you how I do the process, okay? Okay, so let's start off here. I am using today Jiffy Natural and Organic Young Plant Mix. 
Ideal for containers, veggies, flower beds, and tropical plants. I'm gonna fill up these three containers with soil and then we'll start off from there. Okay, so I'm just finishing wetting the soil. I think that's good. So we have our three trays, one, two, and the third one. So each one for each of our seeds. So we're gonna take our seeds and we're gonna plant. If I can open this tiny little bag. This is exciting. I love planting seeds, especially mystery seeds. What could they be? So I'm gonna plant about a dozen here. And I'm just, I'll show you here how I'm sowing them or spacing them apart. So we don't know what these seeds are, so it's basically a mystery. So we wanna sow the seeds using common sense. So there's gonna be seed there. And what I would use as a rule of thumb, if I'm doing this for like the first time and God knows what I'm doing, is triple or quadruple the space of the actual seed. So they're not gonna really show up on here because they are brown, but I'll still try to show you in the film. Every time I make a video, the dog is chewing in the background. If you hear that, that's what it is. Bear, my dog is crazy. Okay, so we put all of our seeds, the bead seeds, on top of the soil like so. And we're just gonna take a little something, a pen, whatever, as long as it's clean, and just push them down so they're just covered, just like so. Just a wee bit. And again, for seed depth, like how far am I sticking these seeds down? Again, if I don't know what they are, I will put them into the soil double to triple in depth. So what I'm doing right now, you're like, well, you're not pushing it down double or triple in depth. No, I'm not, because I'm gonna put more soil in here. Okay, so top dressing is just adding soil to the top. Now, if you want to, you can spray it on the top again. But how I'm gonna water these so I don't get the seeds moving around, I've done that. I watered the crap out of the top and then everything was pushed to the corner and I got poor germination from it. So, lesson learned. Next, I take a little dish such as this, okay? And I'm just gonna add water to it and then what's gonna happen, I will demonstrate. Let's open this. So what's gonna happen is that's gonna wick up and all of that soil is gonna wick up that moisture and then the next day, what we're gonna do is the baggy method, okay? So baggy method, normal freezer, Ziploc bag, you want a little bit of a better seal. Reason being is because you want the humidity to be trapped in the bag. This is really good to increase your germination. Then these little babies are gonna be going under a grow light for three weeks. And then I'm going to reveal to you all what we grew. So thanks a lot for coming by my channel and planting the mystery seeds with me today. I'm looking forward to seeing what they're gonna sprout and sharing it with you guys. So I hope you take really good care and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.